So we recognize this as the sum of an arithmetic sequence. So we can write the formula for the sum of an arithmetic sequence is the average of the first term and the last term times the number of terms we have. We can always get the first term by plugging in that bottom number. So negative 2 thirds plus 1 half times 1. And you got to deal with some fractions. So we'll get a common denominator of 6. So that's negative 4 6 plus 3 6 is negative 1 6. That's my first term. And then my last term I can get by plugging in the last number they want me to plug in. So a sub 14 is negative 2 thirds plus 1 half times 14. Again, wading through some fractions, I'll get a common denominator of 6. So that's negative 4, 6, and then 14 times 3 is 42. So that's 38, 6. I'm going to leave it unsimplified because when I go to take the average, they'll already have a common denominator. So taking the average of the first term and the last term and then multiplying it by the number of terms we have. So if we go from the first term to the 14th term, we do in fact have 14 terms. Notice when it gets tricker, trickier, this is 14 minus 1, but plus an extra 1. So sometimes that extra 1 is a kicker, but for the ones that we start off with 1, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, so now we have 35 over 6 over 2 times 14. And so if I cancel that and make that that, I've got 35 over 6 times 7 over 1. And that gives me 259 over 6, which does match our answer key. Yay! Waiting through fractions, right? Um, excellent. If that was too fast, go back to number 17. I do a slower version there.